Uh, this is chapter 6, acid base and salt, 6.9, preparation of salts, preparation of soluble salts. We have done this in class, but I would like to repeat and you complete the notes. Now open your slide, a slide, okay. Open your handout, page 4. Okay, preparation of soluble salts. Okay, so we have Sodium, potassium, ammonium. Yang ini saya dah sebut dalam kelas bagi nak kan nak. And A stand for sodium. A, ammonium. Okay, dia pergi ke bawah. And potassium, K. K, potassium. So, untuk garam nak, hanya guna cara yang pertama sahaja. Itu acid plus alkali. You will get salt and water. While are the salt. Kalau salt ni apa? Okay, lain-lain lah. The most favorite salt ever. Copper sulfate, for example. Uh, what boleh guna kaedah ni lah. Saya letakkan ya. This is the first method. Second Third and fourth. Saya letak macam tu lah. Okay. Kaedah yang kedua. Acid dengan metal oxide. For example, kalau copper sulfate, you will use acid dia. Mesti dah sulfuric acid. Sebab sulfate provided from sulfuric acid. And base, awak pakai copper oxide. You will get salt and water. And the second one. Acid plus metal that more electropositive than hydrogen. Okay. Alamak spelling hydrogen salah ya. HY sepatutnya. Okay, um, acid, uh, kalau copper sulfate tak boleh guna kaedah ketiga ni. Sebab copper, copper is a metal that less electropositive than hydrogen. So, kalau contoh lain macam copper, sorry, copper jangan copper. Aluminium, aluminium sulfate for example. So, acid masih pakai sulfate acid tapi metal awak pakai aluminium. And you will get salt and hydrogen gas. Okay, uh, the fourth one is acid with metal carbonate. You will get salt, water and carbon dioxide. For example, we have Uh, kembali kepada contoh tadi copper sulfate okey copper sulfate ingat copper sulfate ma i s s o 4 okey okey copper sulfate ni kalau guna kaedah yang keempat ni boleh okey ni kaedah pertama tadi ni kaedah kedua yang ni kaedah ketiga yang ni kaedah keempat okey kaedah keempat macam mana so copper awak boleh pakai nak metal carbonate kan so kita pakai copper carbonate cu apa formula dia? CuCO3. Okay. Okay, acid pula. Macam biasa, masih lagi pakai H2SO4. Okay. So, dari sini, awak akan menghasilkan copper sulfate. Okay, you will get salt, water and carbon dioxide. Okay, next one. Okay, seterusnya. Okay, discussion. What is the difference, differentiate of the soluble salt preparation? Okay, only sodium, potassium, ammonium salt are prepared by the first method which is between acid and base and other soluble salts are prepared by acid with carbonate reaction. Okay, so nak pakai cara pertama, yang selain daripada nak, you boleh guna cara kedua, ketiga, keempat. Hati-hati dengan copper dan juga silver sebab mereka ialah metal that less electropositive than hydrogen. Okay, A, preparing of soluble salt which is ammonium, sodium and potassium. Okay, kat sini sebenarnya banyak ni kalau awak tengok musrat sebelah. So, the main objective, complete the uh, the 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 handout. Okay, I just read it for you. Procedure, okay, the most important thing bila buat eksperimen, you have to mention the concentration here and the volume and the container. Okay, using apa? Using a pipette. 25 cm3 of potassium hydroxide solution yang keperkataannya which is the concentration is 1 mole per dm cube is put into a conical flask. Okay. Okay, like this. This is our pipette, 25 cm3 cube. Okay, we draw from the um, from the bottles. I cannot remember the name of the bottle. Reagent bottle, okay. And put into a conical flask drops of phenolphthalein remember the spelling of phenolphthalein okay are added into conical flask now trace it one mole per dm cube is placed in the burette then initial reading of the burette is recorded okay this is our burette while the conical flask is being shaken the acid is released from the burette into the conical flask the acid is added drop by drop into conical flask until the indicator change color from Yes, pink to colorless. Very good. The final reading of the burette is recorded. The volume of the acid 
needed which is V centimeter cube and rasa kita buat hari tu 25 kot. 25 centimeter is calculated. 25 centimeter of potassium hydroxide solution is put into a beaker with no indicator aided V centimeter cube. Apa ni V? Ah, yang dapat daripada tadi lah. Daripada step ketujuh tadi ya. Kalau kita decide 25, 25 lah. Of dilute nitric acid is added to the solution in the beaker. But this time there are no phenolphthalein because phenolphthalein is uh, impurity. The solution is poured into evaporating dish and heated until it becomes saturated. The saturated solution is allowed to cool at room temperature and crystallize. Macam mana kita nak tahu saturated? Ingat lagi, ada dua method. Uh, panaskan until it becomes one third of the initial volume or you test using the glass rod. Okay, take out some of the solution and if the solution crystallize uh, at the end of the glass rod, glass rod, so it has been saturated. Crystal are so third again. Okay. Okay. Any step for me? You can wash me. Rinse, rinse, wash blood. Rinse the crystals with with a small amount of this water. Dry the crystals between sheets of filter paper. Oh. Now, B. Preparing of soluble salt, which are not the ammonium, sodium, and potassium salt. Relation between acid and metal oxide. So, sebenarnya, ah, yang ni kaitan dia lebih kurang. So, cerita lu. Kita nak prepare copper to nitrate crystal using the reaction between dilute nitric acid with copper to oxide. Copper to oxide. Anyone remember the color of copper to nitrate? Yes, it is blue color because it has copper to ion inside it. How about dilute nitric acid in liquid form? It is a colorless solution. Well, what is the color of copper to oxide? Yes, black powder. Now, 25. Okay, kalau Azam tak nak buat range macam ni, range ni biasanya saya, untuk saya apa, marking sebenarnya. So, untuk awak, pilih satu nombor. Pilih 25 centimeter of natural acid. One mole per dm is measured using a measuring cylinder and pour into beaker. Okay, ayah ni memang kena measure using a measuring cylinder. Then, the natural acid is heated carefully in the beaker. Copper to oxide powder is added a little at a time. Pentingnya perkataan a little at a time ni. To the nitro acid using a spatula. The mixture is stirred well. Oh, spatula. Jom saya suruh tolak je dengan glass rod kan. Okay, tu. Number four, copper to oxide powder is added continuously until some of it no longer dissolve. The content are filtered to to eliminate the excess copper to oxide. Eh? Ini kalau kadang-kadang dia tanya, kenapa nak kena filter? Sebab kita nak buang the excess copper to oxide powder. The filter is poured into an evaporating dish. The salt solution in the evaporating dish is gently heated for evaporation to occur until it becomes, yes, remember the word, saturated. saturated. The hot saturated solution is cooled to room temperature for crystallization to occur. The contents are filtered to obtain the copper to nitrate crystals. Then the crystal are rinsed with a small amount of distilled water. The crystal are pressed between a few filter paper to be dried. The copper to nitrate crystal can be purified through recrystallization. Ah, this is the equation. Copper oxide react with two mole of nitrate acid. You will produce one mole of copper nitrate and one mole of Okay, reaction between acid and metal more electropositive than hydrogen. Yang ini dekat muka surat, uh, muka surat 6 bahagian atas ya. Yang nombor 2 tu. Okay, preparing zinc chloride crystal using the reaction of dilute hydrochloric acid with zinc. Procedure, again, choose one number only, 25 cm3 of hydrochloric acid, one more grade MQ is measured using a measuring cylinder and pour into a beaker. The hydrochloric acid is heated carefully in the beaker. Zinc powder is added a little at a time to nitro acid using a spatula. The mixture is stirred well. Zinc powder is added continuously until some of it no longer dissolve. The contents are filtered. The filtrate, ah, apa bezanya? Filtered, filtrate is poured into evaporating dish. Filtered adalah method. Filtrate is the things uh, that in the conical flask, oh sorry, in, in the bottom. Okay, kalau you buat filtration, yang bottom, you boleh filtrate. Yang dekat conical, oh, conical flask pula. Yang dekat filtration funnel tu, kita panggil apa? Filter funnel, ialah residue. Okay, remember. 
The salt solution in the evaporating dish is gently heated for evaporation to occur until it becomes saturated. Hot saturated hot solution is cooled to room temperature for crystallization to occur. The contents are filtered to obtain zinc chloride crystals. The crystals are rinsed with a small amount of distilled water. Ah, sini, yang ni awak kena tulis sendiri ni. Kosong tu. The crystal are pressed between a few pieces of filter paper to be dried. The copper chloride crystal can be purified through recrystallization. Okay, this is a chemical equation for reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid to produce zinc chloride salt, which is soluble salt, and hydrogen gas. Tapi ingat lagi, apa warna zinc chloride? Susah nak dapat ni, tapi ada satu group. Hari tu saya tengok kelas berapa, kelas 2 or 8. Dapat, very good, dia dapat banyak agak. It is a white color salt, okay. Now we move to number 3, reaction between acid and metal carbonate. Preparing magnesium sulfate using a crystal using the reaction between sulfur acid and magnesium carbonate. Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay, pula nombor satu tadi baca dekat yang tak ada ya. Um, the sulfuric acid is um, heat properly in the beaker and then put magnesium carbonate. Okay, ni siapa yang buat yang ni? Bila you tengok carbonate kan, masuk dalam acid walaupun kita tak panaskan, sebenarnya it produce bubbles, colorless bubbles which is the carbon dioxide gas. Okay. Uh, still is the method you have to add it a little at a time using a spatula the mixture is stirred well magnesium carbonate powder is added continuously until some of it no longer dissolves the contents are filtered the filtrate is poured into an evaporating dish the salt solution in the evaporating dish is gently heated for evaporation to occur until it becomes saturated saturated bukan saturated penting sangat the hot Saturated solution is cool to room temperature for crystallization to occur. The contents are filtered to obtain the magnesium sulfate crystals. The crystals are rinsed with a small amount of distilled water. The crystals are pressed in between a few pieces of filter paper to be dried. Magnesium sulfate crystal can be purified through risk crystallization. Ah, this is the chemical equation, which is magnesium carbonate react with sulfur acid to produce magnesium sulfate, carbon dioxide, and water. Eh, baru teringat lah. I'm wet. Ah, dah cakap utara dia ni. Why? The crystal should be pressed between a few pieces of filter paper, of course, to be dried. Why don't we use the method where we should put uh, the the crystal uh, with the hair dryer? Yes. Or maybe put into the oven. Perasan tak dekat belakang mama ada oven sebenarnya? Kenapa tak boleh guna kaedah tu? Hmm, ada siapa tahu? Boleh bagi hadiah ni. Kalau right, next time lah. Okay, kita tak boleh panaskan secara direct sebab those salt will be decomposed. Tahu perkataan decompose? Compose, composer. Compose ialah assemble. Buat uh, buat lagu. Okay, tadi saya sebut. Okay, so kalau decompose, so dia pecah kepada ion-ion dia. Magnesium jadi Mg, sulfate jadi sulfur dioxide, uh, oksigen jadi oksigen, uh, macam tu lah. So kita tak boleh direct heating. So dia akan memecahkan dia kepada elemen-elemen dia balik. Okay, that's why you just dry the crystal in uh, by pressing between a few pieces of filter paper. Qualification of soluble salt by recrystallization method. Yang ini dekat buku surat sebelah ya, buku surat tujuh. Okay. Recrystallization to purify potassium nitrate crystals. Number one, put potassium nitrate crystals into a beaker. Add just enough the water to cover the crystal. Gently heat the mixture while stirring it with a glass rod. Add this to water a little at a time until the crystals are dissolved. Filter the solution to obtain to remove the impurities. Bahasa Melayunya, benda asing. Dia bukan benda asing ya. Kita terima benda asing. Dia sambung. Pour the filter into an evaporating dish. Gently heat the solution for evaporating to occur until the solution becomes saturated. Cool the hot saturated solution to room temperature for crystallization to occur. Filter the solution. Rinse the, the crystal with a small amount of this water. Dry the crystals between sheets of filter paper. End of slide.
<laughs> okay, that's all. Uh, continue with the next subtopic.